have you right here on this desk and then you begged for mercy twice. Yes! <laughs> That's it. They're you know perfect. what? That was better than everything John has ever said. What's going on? It's your boy Sinta with the Intel, and you can already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Hello, governor. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Sherlock. Season 2, Episode 1. This one is called A Scandal in Belgravia. I think I said that correctly. No, my, my, I got a southern kind of thing. Probably jacked that up. I'm sure y'all will correct me uh, in the chat. <laughs> Make sure you stay to the very end. Because you already know me and Rakai. We're going to chop it up. Have a bit of a back and forth, if you will, over the things we've enjoyed. And scratching heads over some of the things that, you know, as we're scratching our heads. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Who oh. are you? Oh, we just gonna jump right in, huh? Oh, no, okay. We did get a little bit of backstory. I have loved this, this little game. I can't lie. I love our little Moriarty. I love a good villain. Yeah, yeah. he's killing it. You've got the rest of your life. <laughs> he's so disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. What do you want? Was that his mama? <laughs> he's like, I, I just have a gun on you. Like, I will in you. Right? You'll be hearing from me, Sherlock. You know how cold of a dude you gotta be to turn your back on a dude with a gun and just chat it up? I will make you yeah. rich if you don't. Hold on, but he took a phone call in the middle of dude got a gun on him. Yeah. And then just strolled off, turned his back and just strolled off. Snapped his fingers. And the, hey, and the lights listen. went away. Moriarty, I like my dude. Yes, yeah. more of him, please. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you say without saying, I am not to be trifled with. I am not. Someone changed his mind. Question is, who? who? Oh, a lady. Why? Potentially. Well, now, have you been wicked, your highness? Uh oh. Yes, Miss Adler. Oh, Miss Adler, huh? Hey. Hey, Miss Adler. <laughs> hey, if I'm not mistaken, hold huh. on. Wasn't that Rachel McAdams' uh, character who was kind of having an on again, off again relationship with RJD in the movies? Was it? It's been so long since I've seen the movies, so I I'll have to. I think that was her name. Okay. Uh, Maybe. The chat said yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Come on now. All right. A scandal in Belgravia. Yes. <laughs> Ber Belgravia. Okay, there we go. I'm glad you yes. said it so I don't sound silly. My wife seems to be spending a very long time. Is that a smiley face on the wall? I think my husband might be having mm -hmm. an affair. Oh, that's when he was shooting it. He said yes. But then all the comic books start hey. coming true. Oh, interesting. Okay, I was about to say, give the nerds a chance. Dyed blonde hair, no obvious cause Ooh. of death except for these speckles, whatever they are. What is that, like measles or something? Oh, uh, you offended him. Oh, for God's sake. The speckled blonde. They are acting more and more like a couple. <laughs> yeah. Is that because he's gone to heaven? People don't really go to heaven when they die. They're taken to a special room and burned. Wow. Wow. Just F the kids, huh? Right? Just F the yeah, kids. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> FTK, baby. <laughs> FTK. <laughs> okay, four ideas. This show is very meta. <laughs> like all the titles of uh, Dr. Watson's blogs uh -huh. are some of the titles to uh, some of the uh, short stories. Really? I reset that counter last night. This blog has had nearly 2,000 hits in the last eight hours. This is... That's what I'm talking about. Two stacks, baby. Good job for you. So what's this one? Belly button murders? The naval... God, I remember that back in the day when you got the hit counter. <laughs> yeah. Well, they won't be interested in us. Yeah, that was before you were an internet phenomenon. A couple of them specific... That's funny. Now, that, now that's nothing. A hit counter. Still, it's good for the public image. Big case like this. Private detective, the last thing I need is... Hey, he's got the hat! Hey! We were just talking about the hat last, last season. It's like, where's the hat? Hat man and Robin. <laughs> uh, that was the uh, last the, piece. The, the deer hunter hat, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because we had the nicotine patches. 
uh, for the smoking. Mm -hmm. um, we got the little thing for the magnifying glass, and now we got the hat. Oh, we got a riding crop. What? Would you would you allow a riding crop into your situation? I'm just saying, you know. Uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is one shade of gray I don't need. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I want them to treat her better. <laughs> mm. What the hell? Who are you? Yeah. You know, that's Tell disturbing to too. Don't be boring. You've got another one. I thought dude died. Like, you just come in and die. Like, and she said another one. The editor has been flexing this episode. They've been doing some interesting shots. Oh, Sobs. You remember Sobs was the business oh, back in yeah. the day, right? Yeah. Sobs, they're right there. 900 Turbo. Yep, Swedish. You can always tell when there's a, when the second season gets a, gets a slightly bigger budget. You, you start seeing um, more interesting creative choices. Yeah. Make a little bit more cinematic. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely feeling a lot more cinematic. It's a terrible place for your side to break down. Hey, you okay? Uh, that's a no. Uh, people just be so damn inquisitive, just curious. Like, hey, are you okay? <laughs> oh, but shit, I've been in call that in. Mm -mm. This is your case. It's entirely up to you. This is just friendly advice. Plus, I'm black. They'd be looking for my fingerprints on no, nope, I ain't touched nothing. No. Nope. will be like, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Why you call us? He was just laying down. Shit, I ain't no. Okay. You realize this is a tiny bit humiliating. It's okay. I'm fine. This dude look like he just came back from a toga party. There's no point in my leaving the flat for anything less than a seven. We agreed. I go back. He's got a scale. Sevens says don't exist. Six. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> He said, I don't leave the house for anything less than a seven. Shut up! You just carry on talking when I'm away. I don't know. How often are you away? Wow. I think he's a suspect. Pass me over. All right, but there's a mute button, and I will use it. <laughs> the undisguised ketosis of a simple living of his own, the right sleeve of an internet porn addict, and the breathing pattern of an untreated heart condition. The right sleeve? Uh, listen, I'm going to need him to explain that. You say? Huh, yeah. what? Go to the stream. Damn dude sitting behind him? Yeah! He's a savage. His room's through the back, get him some clothes. Who the hell are you? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. Sure. You're coming with us. Oh. Watson, yeah, it's for you. Okay, thanks. Uh, no, sir. The helicopter. Oh, you already know who that is. Yeah. Baby brother. What do you, what do you want, <laughs> Mycroft? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, yeah. he, he always got to have some type of entrance, right? Either a cutie pie or a helicopter, limo. And the, the cool thing about it is... Yeah, he's like, he's like, damn it, Mycroft. We're going to like... The government. Parliament or something? Yeah. Or, no, the, the palace, uh, the royal palace. Cause didn't Miss Adler say something like that at the beginning, like when she had the writing crop and mm. this dude he didn't put on no his clothes. Toga yet. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you about to be royalty. Look at my he's face. Like, he's like, <laughs> what out? He's like, oh, people are people, man. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. You wearing any pants? No. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not here naked as a jaybird. Yeah. <laughs> Back in your palace. Look, just, the just clothes are right there, though. He just refused to put them on. Riding an impulse to steal an ashtray. <laughs> just me twig and berries. <clears throat> what are we doing here? That part. Here to see the queen? Oh, apparently, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you two behave like grown-ups? We solve crimes, I blog about it, and he forgets yeah. his pants. I wouldn't hold out too much hope. <laughs> right? I glanced at the police report. A bit obvious, surely. Transparent. Time to move on, then. Now, Mycroft is the little brother, right? Yeah. Okay. Mycroft. Harry, may I just apologize to the state for my little brother? 
No, you know oh, what? Oh, he is the big brother. Minecraft, yeah, Minecraft is the older brother. Yeah. My employer is a tremendous fan of your blog. Oh, wow. Particularly enjoy the one about the aluminium crutch. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look at the show my dad says it like that. I'm used to mystery at one end of my cases. Both ends is too much work. Good morning. Mm. Oh, cheeks. Watch your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> you are to be engaged by the highest in the land. Now, for God's sake, put your clothes on. <laughs> I'll be mother. The, listen, the, the dynamic between them is amazing. Why? You have a police force of sorts, even a marginally secret service. Why come to me? People do come to you for help. To He's a marginally secret service. Mm -hmm. By having an affair with both participants separately. Dang. Damn. She putting in work. <laughs> yeah. Irene hey. Adler. All right, Ari. Professionally yes, known hi. as the woman. Oh, the woman. There are many names for what she does. She prefers dominatrix. Fetch me the woman. Oh, got that riding crop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you know. Don't be alarmed. Yeah. Depends on who's holding it. <laughs> I'm off with some spice. <laughs> the spice, spice don't include you beating my ass. So I'm not for that. <laughs> The woman. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Look, he's like, oh, hold on. They both checking each other out. Said, look I, at this. Look, he said, look, he said, I'm a uh, need to take these pictures with me so I can do more in investigation and stuff. This young female person appearing in these photographs together. Yes, they do. And I assume in a number of compromising scenarios. An imaginative range, we are sure. <laughs> <laughs> As Miss Adler remarks in her masthead, know when you are beaten. <laughs> Power play with the most powerful family in Britain. Now that is a dominatrix. Oh, this is getting rather fun, isn't it? Sherlock. Hmm. <laughs> he said, yeah, it's spicy. No, I think I'll have the photographs. I could only hope you're as good as you seem to think. I seem to think. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Or your cigarette lighter either will do. I don't smoke. No, I know you don't, but your employer does. Hmm. Hmm. This little fact, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the Commonwealth. Oh. And that's as modest as he gets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he's like, yeah, we're just gonna carry on before you you get us in trouble, yeah. Sherlock. <laughs> he said, like, he said, yeah. out. <laughs> he said, and that was him being humble. <laughs> the evidence is right under your nose, John, as ever you see but not observe. Observe what? An ashtray. He stole the ashtray. <laughs> this dude. She got taking pictures for her, so right. there's somebody else taking pictures for her. Okay. Yeah, but but they current. I'm going to have a visitor. I'll need a bit of time to get ready. Oh, she's quick too. All right, I'm curious about Mrs. Adler. All right, girl. Uh, listen, she's <laughs> came out chest out. Let's go. Okay, battle, John. I need the right armor. Uh huh. What? Everything works on you. Damn. So, what's the plan? What what would tickle Sherlock's fancy? I wonder. It probably well, wouldn't. Apparently, be. it's Travis Miss Adler. He's seen that that whole dominatrix, you know, because dominatrix is not just the that whole dynamic is not just about having your ass beat. Yeah, and, and surrendering control. Yeah. And most people don't understand it's actually the submissive who has all the control. Yes, punch me in the face. Didn't you hear me? You 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 seem uh, pretty knowledgeable, my guy. Usually, sometimes. Oh, my God. Uh, see, uh, see what had happened was, uh... <laughs> oh! Nice right, oh. though! He got him a good one. He's like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, let me He's like, yeah. put a little extra on there. for that bill you didn't pay. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, but I've been waiting to put my hands on you. <laughs> yeah. This has been a long time he coming. He said, this has been a long time coming. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, hey. I've just been attacked. Um, look, she ain't falling for look, that. Look at, look at her. She's like, boy. I can find the police if you want. Thank you, thank you. Could you please? Uh, would you, would you mind if I just... Does he have a... He does. He got a collar on. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Look <laughs> And they're like, oh, wonderful performance, Mr. Holmes. She ain't falling for none of that. Hello, sorry to hear that you've been hurt. I don't think Kate caught your name. I'm so sorry. I, I'm... Got him! Wow. Just, you know, let's just get straight to it. 
No, it's always hard to remember an alias when you've had a fright. Look, look, no. I'm there now. Knocked him out of his acting, look. Both these drops. <laughs> Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, Miss Adler, Mr. I'm loving you so far. Miss Adler, look at that. Would you like me to try? He's like, right. He's yes. like, yes. Mm. <laughs> I missed something, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Oh, if you'd like some tea, I can call the maid. <laughs> you got bested, my guy. You lost that round. I had a tea too. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Mystery. Yeah. Yeah. But that's also he could make them deductions, like. Mm -hmm. Damn. Nothing. Oh, she's good. You think I'm a vicar with a bleeding face? No, I think you're damaged, delusional, and believe in a higher power. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had to punch that face, I'd avoid your nose and teeth too. <laughs> Could you put something on? Ah! <laughs> I want to look at naked women. I borrow John's laptop. You do borrow my laptop. I confiscate it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. No, 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 you're here for the photographs, but that's never gonna happen. This is we're here just chatting anyway. <laughs> never. Man, detectives. Brainy's the new sexy. This is a gun. Yeah, he's like, how about Hello, Bella. Boring me and think. It's the new sexy. Ooh. The cars. Oh, see how see how he's taking back power? It's a oh, he was still flustered in the beginning, though. Can tell you everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Instance. But this is how, you know, brain is the new sexy. This is how he flexes. Amazing how fire exposes our priorities. Ooh. Huh. Really hope you don't have a baby in here. <laughs> right, Look, Johnny, she, you can turn it off now. She's, she's so curious now. Turn it off. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh, ooh. So for the mate that it's a six digit code, can't be a birthday, no disrespect, but clearly you were born in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. Hands behind your head on the floor. Keep it still. Sorry, Sherlock. Uh -oh. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Three, two, Open two, it. four, Please. three, four. It's not what we think. That's in there. Look, you see where she looked away. Fucking cameos. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, you was talking uh -huh. all that good ish earlier. Now look at you. Okay, how did he know yeah. there was a gun in there? Like... Thank you. You were very observant. Observant. I'm flattered. Mm. So if you were in there, that'll do it. On the way. <laughs> but for anybody who's standing directly in the safe when you open it. Oh, God, no, she's used to that. There's a back door. Better check it, Dr. Watson. That's a crazy ass statement. She's out cold. Oh, well, God knows she's used to that. <laughs> he would have killed me. It was self defense in advance. Mmm. work. Dang, she smacked the taste out of his mouth. <laughs> My God. Oh, oh, they're going to crop. Uh, Ooh. Hey. 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 It's been a pleasure. Don't spoil it. <laughs> so I want you to remember me. <laughs> the woman who beat you. Literally. <laughs> Ooh, literally. The key code to my safe. What was it? 3224. Shall I tell him? Her measure. 32, 30, 32, 24, 30 something. Measurements. Ah. 34. Of, okay. Oh, she pulled a cat woman, didn't she? She just mm -hmm. <laughs> backed up out that bad boy. Because it's already being washed downstream. A boomerang? A boomerang. He killed himself? Definitely the new sexy. It's like a bad DC movie. <laughs> boomerang, man. Ah, uh, sleep. Yeah, that's okay. Sleep. There. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Shh. You're okay. 
Yeah, she put the thing thing on you, my guy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but she now she was up in the house. She was up in the house and told him how she solved it and brought his coat back. Look, there's his coat on the door. Where is she? <laughs> the woman, that woman. What woman? The woman. Yeah, man. Love will do that. Love will have you walking like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me, infatuation. She's been here. What you, what you, mm -hmm. No, 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 no. She's been oh, here. Damn it. <laughs> oh, he's definitely going to be smitten. There's no way around that. No reason at all. She done whooped his ass in the love. Yeah. And there's the coat, like you said. No, not the way she treats royalty. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is that the new ringtone? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> That's her texting him. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent guess. Yeah, thanks for that. Man. And the fact that she put that on as a ringtone, <laughs> that's hilarious. Why does your phone make that noise? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Craig. Who that? It's a text, so that means I've got a text. Hmm. Hmm. Your texts don't usually make that noise. That's. <laughs> phone and apparently as a joke personalized their text alert noise so every time they text you perfect. yes sherlock i shall bring out your inner freak <laughs> bashed up so it, it might be a bit difficult mm. it's not gonna be her i don't know if she's isn't it? Show me the rest of it. 32, 24, 34. That's her. That's right. You know, he didn't seen her body. Look, see? He's... No Wait, way. No. How did Sherlock I... recognize her from... I don't believe it. Not her face? Mm. It's a girl. Come on now. Is that no? That's her. I mean, he definitely had a lot of time to inspect it. Come on. And, it can't be. And never... And, Never clappeth any cheeks. Yeah, but you know, he was he was mentally satisfied, you know. So oh, yeah. it's the same, it's the oh, same yeah. for him, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, Ment yeah, mentally yeah. he yeah. Skeet it everywhere. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Look at them. They all care so much. It's a great shot right there. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wonder if there's something wrong with us? Oh, there's definitely something different with y'all. Merry Christmas, Mycroft. And a happy new year. That's so funny. First thing he did when you say, he said, oh, we're not going to start having Christmas phone calls now, are we? Mm -hmm. like, I'll walk your dog for you. I, I, I've said it now. I'll even walk I don't have a dog. Ooh. Because that was the last. Oh, just stop talking. Yes. Right? I'll call oh, you. that's no. just. OK. It's bad, man. Just stop. <laughs> You, you, you Sherlock's booth thing, at least <laughs> platonically. I mean, you're his platonic I mean, booth thing. Yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah. He's his hetero life mate. Yeah. Okay. Nah, he grieving, man, in his own way. No, nah, no. Nah, whatever it is that they was looking for, he looking. We didn't mess up my sock index this time. Look, he knows he's been, been searching the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, three attempts remaining. Right. Well, I'm going out for a bit. No, it means something. Mm. Listen, has he ever had any kind of... He's grieving. Heartlessly abandoned. You have any ideas? One. You know, Minecraft could just... Uh, yo, Minecraft keep a hottie on him, though. Yo. <laughs> yeah. And he know, that's, like, he know that's Watson's yeah. weakness, too. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's yo, like, I know how to get you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for a high percentage of men, that's not a bad go-to. I mean, yeah. You definitely get our attention. <laughs> you were right. He thinks it's Minecraft. Hmm. Moriarty? Mm. I'd say he was heartbroken, but uh, yep. well, he's Sherlock. He does all that anyway. That's not my craft. Oh, I knew oh, it! Dr. Watson? I knew it! I knew it! I mean, it didn't make no sense to kill her off. She staged uh, Tell her. Tell him you He'd come after me. But who's the, who's the corpse? DNA tests are only as good as the records you keep. What about you know the record keeper? I know what he likes. 
<laughs> She'd be saying that a lot. I know what he likes. You know I need it back, so I need your help. No. Mm. It's for his own safety. Says so this. Mmm. Sherlock always replies to everything. He's Mr. Punchline. He will outlive God trying <laughs> to have the last word. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. You jealous? We're not a couple. Yes, you are. Yes, y'all are. Yeah. <laughs> what if anyone out there still cares, I'm not actually gay. <laughs> Look at us both. <laughs> she just say, I am. Oh. <laughs> he said he doesn't actually follow me everywhere. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You got bested, my guy. It's okay. It happens to us all, man. You know, very observant. Uh, somebody done pried in. Mycroft. They knew he had the phone. Mm. Could be Mariachi, though. Yeah. Because yeah. Mycroft, Mycroft isn't going to damage the door to get open, I don't think. Well, Mycroft ain't going to do it himself. He'll send people. Did they hurt Miss Hudson though? No, not Miss Hudson. Come on now. I don't know. Oh, they did get Miss Hudson. Y'all better not have hurt that old lady. Uh, Moriarty would have. Y'all tripping, man. Y'all snatching up old or, ladies. No, nah, the Americans. The Americans. Yep. You're right, the Americans. I like how we said that like we weren't Americans. Uh, the Americans. Dirty stinking Americans. <laughs> the dirty, dirty uh, stinking. Wow, he showed her some. T oh, I thought he was showing her some tenderness. I've been asking this one. She doesn't seem to know anything. Oh, he's looking at her bruises. But you know what I'm asking for, don't you, Mr. Holmes? Y'all done hurt that old lady. Man, are y'all mm -hmm. y'all punched this lady? No, nah, it's back in. Oh, he looking at. I believe I do. He looking at pressure points to, to jack this dude up. First, get rid of your boys. Why? I just like being outnumbered. It makes for too much stupid room. Mm. Go to the car. Then get into the car and drive away. <laughs> Don't try to trick me. You know who I am. It doesn't work. Mm. Oh, shall I better put his hands on this dude? And I approve this mm -hmm. message. Lex, you can stop pointing that gun at me. So you can point a gun at me. I don't need a gun. Mind if I check? Oh, I insist. <laughs> Give him that work, Sherlock. Mm-hmm. Good. Wrong. All right, hitting an old lady. Hit him again, just for measure, just for good measure. En envy people that, that can, you know what I'm saying, hit you with a good headbutt. Like, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I ain't headbutt a soccer ball. That's about it. That headbutt to somebody else's head. Well, I'd be knocked out. I'm gonna knock my own ass out. Downstairs. Take it downstairs. She's like, she's like, I'm moving out. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah. Let them shut up my walls. We've had a break in at Baker Street. Send your least irritating officers in an ambulance. <laughs> Suspected punctured lung. Mm. He fell out of a window. You gonna get the business mm -hmm. when I get here. Oh. Oh. I, I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm not mad. Yeah, man. You don't hear, you don't hear old people, man. Uh, and exactly how many your monkey times ass did out the window? Out window. <laughs> how many times did you fall out? <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> Good for you, Sherlock. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. I heard that. Y'all gonna learn today. Yeah. Shame on me. Mrs. Hudson, leave Baker Street. England would fall. <laughs> Where's my camera phone? It's not here. We're not stupid. Camera phone. What have you done with it? That's before, before phones became smart. Bring it here, leave it in the cafe, and one of the boys downstairs could bring it up the back. He'd just be running his mouth. Full of intelligent precautions. Thank you. So, why don't Arthur? <laughs> or I could just give it to her. <laughs> the passcode. Yeah, you got can't just let him just uh ah uh, right okay the numbers one oh five eight assumed you'd choose something more specific than that but um thanks anyway well, okay what's the significance of the numbers i know when it's in my hand 
Oh, you're not so bad. <laughs> Look, he's like, he's like, what the hell is going on? Is that John? It, it's brain flirting. Just, if you were looking for baby names. Ah, uh, look, see. <laughs> hey, he said, call y'all's baby Hamish. He told me this email was going to save the world. He didn't know it, but I photographed it. He was a bit tied up at the time. <laughs> Literally. I had one of the best cryptographers in the country take a look at it, though he was mostly upside down, as I recall. <laughs> Go on. Press a girl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seven leaving Heathrow tomorrow at six thirty in the evening for Baltimore. Apparently, it's going to save the world. Not sure how that could be true, but give me a moment. There'll only be another case for eight seconds. <laughs> Good God! <laughs> but the boy's nasty. Look, look, she's impressed right now. Like the only flight that matches all the criteria and departs within the week is the six thirty to Baltimore tomorrow evening from Heathrow Airport. Damn! Woo. Jesus Christ! That's remarkable. Amazing chance express that thought in every possible variant available to the English language. <laughs> Have you right here on this desk and then you begged for mercy twice? Yes! <laughs> That's it. They you know what? Them. That was better than everything John has ever said. I'm on it. I for mercy in my life. Twice. Twice? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Who is she about to make a name Woo! for herself? <laughs> Yo, that's fire! That is fire! Yeah, she all in too. And I <laughs> yeah. Damn, she's good. And here comes our big bad. I was wondering when his head was gonna pop up again. I mean, we knew that this thing what she worked for him. Mm -hmm. What did my brother do? No, but his name is Mr. Holmes, too. Mm. That's true. I mean, so if yeah. he texts Mycroft, he, he's Mr. Holmes as well. Yeah. That's John. He went out a couple of hours ago. I was just talking to him. He said you do that. <laughs> Time warp. Hmm. Yeah. Golly. And when I say had, I'm being indelicate. I don't understand. I'll be delicate then. <laughs> Distractions. Mm. Late. It's not the end of the world. It's Mrs. Hudson. Miss Hudson with the save, actually. Have you come to take me away again? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Well, I decline. I don't think you do. Oh, you've been summoned, huh? They're gonna put him on the plane? On a plane? To where? The plane that he just figured out that's flying out tomorrow. I, they probably I put him tell. on that yeah. plane. I, I was like, I was wondering. You know she can feel oh, some guilt about snitching. Coventry all over again. The wheel turns, nothing is ever new. Nothing. Grandma used to always say, nothing new under the sun. That's right. That is the beauty of history. Yeah. If you study, study the past, everything happens again. It's the curse of P. Diddy. <laughs> not, not, and I'm actually talking, like, not the baby oil scandal. I'm talking about, you know, when P. Diddy was making music. Yeah. He said, once a hit, always a hit. A little talk spicy. What the time hell? Is everybody knocked out? Or dead? Are there cadavers? Just a bunch of dead people on a plane. Oh, you know that plane stank. Dead? She's not my real aunt. Mm. I know you, Ash. Oh, wow. We missed all of that. We've lost everything. One fragment of one email. And wow. months and years of planning. Because you was pillow talking. Mm. You're an MOD man. No, he was trying to be impressive. He wanted to impress a girl. Desperate to show a pillow talking. Make him feel special. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Definitely. I'm not talking about the MOD man, Sherlock. I'm talking about you. Mm-hmm. A damsel in distress. Mm. In the end, are you really so obvious? With the heart of gold. Mm. The promise of love, the yeah. pain of loss. What's it called? Uh, the joy of redemption. Honey pot it. Honey pot. Yep. And give him yeah. a puzzle and watch him dance. Mm. That's right after she told him she would break him off twice. He's like, hell. Were you really eager to impress? I think it was less than five seconds. Mm. Mr. Holmes, I think we need to talk. So do I. Not you, Junior. You're yeah, done now. You. Not you, Junior. You're Ooh. done. Oh! I've got secrets and pictures and mm. scandals that could topple your whole world. Mm. Unless you want to tell your masters that your biggest security leak is your own little brother. Mm. Got him over Burl, too. Mm. 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 We have people who can get into this. You got bested, Holmes. <laughs> point in the second attempt. He's good, isn't he? I should have him on a leash. <laughs> Damn. She is something else. Yes, she is. Had a bit of help. Uh, Jim Moriarty sends his love. Dang. And the other dude. There's the other guy. Ugh. My attention. She's already stabbed in the back. She just twisted the knife. Uh nobody calls you. The ice man and the virgin. Damn. For anything, I think he just likes to cause trouble. Now that's my kind of man. And here you are. <laughs> Craving the distraction of the game. I sympathize entirely, but sentiment. Sentiment is a chemical defect found in the losing side. Ooh. Look at the poor man. You don't actually think I was interested in you. Oh yes, you were. <laughs> because I took your pulse. Mmm. Yeah, the heart don't lie. Mm-hmm. Elevated. Your pupils dilated. Mm-hmm. The heart. Say what you want, but sure. I've always assumed that love is a dangerous disadvantage. <laughs> the way he's hitting them buttons. <laughs> She's like, please, not my heart. Everything I said. I meant. It's not real. Mm, you liar. I was just playing the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know. I was too. Ooh. Mm. Oh, is that a tear on your face? The contents make up for any inconvenience I may have caused you tonight. I'm certain mm. they will. Lock her up, otherwise let her go. I doubt she'll survive long without her protection. Are you expecting me to beg? Yes. Mm. Mm. Twice. <laughs> Please. Mm. You're right. I won't even last six months. Only last six days. Ooh. Mm. Woo! He said, "You had you had the nerve to try to play me. <laughs> Let me show you who I am. I can tell you better than I can show you, boo boo." Oh man! But he will never see her again. Why would he care? No, she he despised her at the end. No, he didn't. didn't. Mention her by name, mm -hmm. just the woman. Is that loathing? <laughs> one of a kind, mm -hmm. the one woman who matters. The one. He's not like that. The one. He doesn't every, feel things that way. Every man is like that. My brother has the brain <laughs> of a scientist. <laughs> Instead of what? She's dead. Again. It would take Sherlock Holmes to fool me. And I don't think he was on hand. Hmm. I don't know. What should we tell Sherlock? Sherlock probably already know. She's, uh... <sighs> Out with it. I know what? Well, you won't be able to see her again. I wouldn't want to see her again. Didn't say you did. No. Hmm. There's nothing on it anymore. It's been straight. I know, but I... I'll still have it. Mm, he knows. Sherlock, I have to give this to Mycroft. It's the government's now. I couldn't Please. even Please. Mm. Thank it's, you. It's her heart. Be it empty or not, it's still her heart. 
He really wants to tell him that she's dead. What'd she say? Goodbye, Mr. Holmes. He knows she's dead. Mm. I mean, see all the time that she texts him, he mm -hmm. texts back once. Wow. He can't swing that thing like a baseball bat. <laughs> I say run. Run. Yeah, Sherlock. He's like, not my baby. <laughs> not my baby. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. No I did not her. see that coming. That but but you know what, though? But what I do think is, though. The woman. Yeah, the one. Everybody, every the man got one. Or guy, they you do. know. Yeah, everybody's got the one. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. The one that got away is always, a, what do they say? They say every, every man is granted one, if you're lucky, two great loves of your life. That's what they say. Um, Mm. Yo, I gotta, I, I can't lie. Um, Leave that part, man. I think, um, I think that was my favorite so far of, uh, we've watched four. We've watched four of them. We've watched three of the first season. And for an, an opening, uh, uh, for, it's not, it's not a pilot, but for a season opener. Wow. Talk about like, like, okay. We've said this a million times before, you know, when, when, when a series does well, the budget goes up. It's just what happens is the reward. Congratulations. You made it to another yeah. season. We are going to give you some more, yeah. some more assets. You know, we're going to give you, yeah. give you some more money and you can it, tell more resources. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can tell, you can tell from the shots. You can tell it from the mm -hmm. artistry. Um, you know, people a little bit happier. You get a little bit more money, you know, you know what, 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 mm -hmm. what Dion say, um, I look good. I play good. I play yeah. good. I make money. You know, I forgot the whole thing is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. When you look good, you yeah. feel good. You feel good. When you feel good, you play good. You play good. When you play good, they pay good. They <laughs> that's that's what it is. That's what it is with, with actors and, and seasons and series. And you can tell. Everybody's feeling a little bit better. The writers feel the better. Actors are feeling better. It's just, you can just tell. And they knocked this bad boy out the park for me. For me, um, and I and I enjoyed season one. I thought season one was a really good way of int getting introduced into the world, um, and now we get to see a little bit more of a a hint, a smidgen of a more human human side of of Sherlock. How you feeling uh, regarding season two, episode one? And we're also gonna have this conversation about uh, the great loves one or two, but that's a little bit later because I'm, I'm I'm curious what you're thinking on that. But go ahead, speak your mind, my guy. I I ain't got nothing to add to that conversation. <laughs> you like, no, you won't talk about it. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, um, I cannot uh, disagree. I cannot, yeah, I cannot disagree with anything that you just said. Uh, you can tell more money went into this production. Um, actually, I think I have to agree that this is the best episode we've seen yet. Like, this is how you open a season. I think one of the biggest disservice that they did to Sherlock fans is, from what I understand, this opened up as the season one had, uh, episode three had a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. And so this opened up as the conclusion to that. However, I think in real life, I think it was like a two year wait to yeah. get this. I'd have been pissed because it ended on such a cliffhanger. You're like, oh, snap. To wait two years to get back to this, even though I will say this, if you made me two years for this, listen, this right here, this is how you come back. This is how you said, 
you know what? We sorry for making y'all wait. So we going to give you some fire. Um, I, I do think it's quite interesting. Stephen Moffat is a wonderful writer. Um, and the way that he wrote, if you think about, uh, like Irene Adler is a character from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's original IP. Okay. But the way, you know, you talk about the times, late 1800s, early 1900s, like the way that he wrote Irene Adler in this and just mm-hmm. happened to make her, like what woman could weasel her way in amongst the most rich and powerful and, and prestigious influential people ever okay. and keep it moving. Mm. And he made her a dominatrix. That is, <laughs> listen, uh, There's something to that, listen, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And a, a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you have to think about, there's a lot of, uh, and especially when you talk about politics and people like that, Yeah, you'd be surprised, you know what I'm saying? Uh, get, make them a drug dealer, a uh, sex worker, they probably all up in them places. Uh, but I think it's it's awful. T- it's kind of like how we love Zack Snyder movies for certain things because he has that cinematic flair. However, Zack Snyder is also a 15-year-old, you know, uh, adolescent with raging hormones. And you can see it in his work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he gonna have everybody butt naked and things swinging and, you know, things thanging. And, you know, he is a grown ass child mm. when it comes to that. You know, he's gonna give you great action sequences. He's gonna uh, feel as much violence and sex, uh, you know, and nakedness into it because he's a grown child. <laughs> um, Moffat is not Zack Snyder level, but mm. Moffat does write like the way that he's been writing this. The way that he's been writing um, the last couple of seasons of Doctor Who that we're watching, season five and season six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And it's it's different when you're writing for YA or when you're writing for adults. Like, you know, he is showing his naturally pervy side, you know. (laughs) <laughs> and he's probably sitting back at his computer laughing his ass off just like, yeah, ooh, 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 you know. And he's like, boy, I wish this show was on, on HBO. I wish it was on Skinamax because I show him. You know, it's just like, bro. <laughs> Maybe he need him a girlfriend, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he sees, Sher- sees sees himself in Sherlock. I don't know, but... Uh, you know, this this was fantastic. The way that Irene Adler was written, uh, not she was the perfect foil. She yeah. was the perfect, um, you know, she was a match for Sherlock in every way. And even how it came back to the end where you got a little cocky, you thought I liked you too much. And then you try to play it off like you ain't like me like that, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Yeah. You played yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you played yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh Minecraft, <laughs> you lock her up now. I'm done with her. You know. <laughs> but I see what the ending of this surprise. I don't even how the hell he didn't get into a terrorist cell. He is the executioner. Like how, what? Like this dude. <laughs> he gonna save his boo who ain't his boo like you you are something else <laughs> he just be popping up like dude really is a superhero with no cape he's yeah. a superhero yeah yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I agree with you I still think I still think and I know this is petty I still think one of the MVPs of this episode is that damn ringtone man that joint is that hilarious ringtone. <laughs> and just so you don't forget just so you don't forget we ended the episode with that you yeah. know what I'm saying <laughs> He texts him, goodbye, Mr. Holmes. And then it goes off and he's like, run when I say run. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like, he's like, I love it. I love it. I wouldn't be mad if they brought it up as a running joke. Occasionally, you don't want to overuse something like that. But, you know, you know, every every few episodes, you know, they bring that in as a bit of a running joke. That that was that was well done. I um, I I thoroughly probably the status. The saddest thing about this particular episode, mm-hmm. and you know, these are longer episodes. Yeah. 
And it's a very short seasons, but like, okay, so where Rachel McAdams played Irene Adler in the movies, okay. she was in the first movie, and then she met her demise in the second movie. Mm. Mm. That is the worst thing about this episode. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What do you love to say it? Grand opening, grand closing. Yeah. You know, yeah. how do you introduce a character that was that wonderful? Yeah. And then take her away. So, you know, she may pop back up, but I mean, it ain't but three episodes a season. Yeah. Uh, how do you, I mean, it's just like when we watch uh, Doctor Who. Yeah. You can't have given me. You know, River Song, and then not, you know, she's only in one episode, and then, you know, she don't come back. What? Mm. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you that. Know, I feel that. We need more of her. And I understand yeah. you can't I'm give us too that. much, because then you'll water down yeah. how wonderful the character is. So I yeah. get it. But there's not a whole lot of these episodes. You can't give us that fantastic of a character and then take them away. Yeah. I just, I, you know. I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk about just the way of just making an impact, an immediate impact. For me, I said uh, during season one, I think the person to me is probably the more interesting. It's not necessarily Sherlock Holmes in, in the very first season. To me, you know, it was John Watson. Um, I barely even noticed John Watson in this episode. <laughs> I mean, he was great for, like, you know, comic relief, you know. But It's one of those things like, wait, wait, he was in the episode? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, his, his, his I impact didn't, didn't wasn't as strong. All. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Don't like, get me wrong. Martin Freeman is awesome. This, <laughs> but his yeah. impact was nowhere near as heavy uh, in this episode as, as it was for the entire uh, first season. Um, so real quick, so you may have heard us uh, going back and forth for talking to some of the people that's uh, in the chat and what that is. And these are members of the Patreon. Patreon members mm -hmm. get access to a private special section of the Discord where you get a chance to watch us work and be a part of this reaction process. If you want to be a part of it as well, there's a link in the description. You can get to it super quick. And one of those fun perks of being a part of the process is that we, you know, actually take a look at some of the things that you're saying. Uh, for instance, uh, Shaggy said, I love the references to the titles of the short stories uh, through the show. You had pointed that out mm -hmm. um, yeah. as yeah. as well, uh, Rakai. Um, it's a nice little, nice little hat tip, right? <laughs> yeah, very meta, um, very meta. So, so Stania said uh, both Stephen Moffat written episodes of this show so far have featured writing crops. I'm not saying he's distracted, but uh, yeah. <laughs> um, really? where, uh, Sherelle said, uh, where's the writing crop being used specifically? That's to, you know, if for those of the more adventurous type are willing to you know, uh, spice I, I have it to up. admit, I don't remember <laughs> seeing the writing crops anywhere else, but I mean, he might be letting us into his world. He's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't yeah. know about this, right? You know, here. when they say uh, art reflects life, life reflects art, it's one of those kind of things. You know, you, you, you well, talk, not only you that talk too, and write about what you know about. <laughs> well, not only that, too, the more when you introduce things into mainstream media and stuff like that, yeah. you create a normalcy for it. Mm -hmm. So, where people would say that's taboo, that is, you know, stuff we don't talk about, that's, that's a super freak side. <laughs> the more you see it, even. Even if they're making fun of it, or yeah. even in, the more you see it, people start to assume or they start to take the position that oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> you know, there's so much stuff that's in main media and TV now, yeah. um, cussing, sex, there's so much stuff that wasn't in mainstream media 20, 30 years ago. Right. And part of the reason why it has become a societal norm is because it was introduced through media and the more it's introduced all sorts of things whether it be positive or negative people start to take that as a norm and just be like ah you know it's no big deal yeah, mm. yeah there's i can't argue against that uh you know we bring it into the lexicon right um shaggy who said uh mycroft is his older brother that was in reference uh we were wondering who was the older brother uh was it was it yeah. Sher sherlock or or was it mycroft? yeah and actually i thought i was like mycroft is the younger brother but then i i actually because i couldn't remember from the books i was like i think he's younger but then i remember from the movie with robert downey jr that mycroft was actually his older brother mm, okay uh, yeah it's a uh, play by uh what's the name steven I forget the dude's name, British dude, but uh, yeah, I remember from the movie that dude, that Mycroft was the older brother. 
Um, I, I thought there was something really interesting in this episode regarding like the over the top overtness of, of sexuality, you know, like the riding crowd, we got, you know, nakedness running around, but there was something that they did that I thought was dope. And it was the thing that stimulated Sherlock the most. And that's what HT Teddy said, uh, mental stimulation would do it for Sherlock, I believe. Uh, and that was, you know, that, that was the thing, you know, he was the, the, it was, and they did such a very good job. Is is this episode overstimulating? Yes, there is an argument for that, but there's also something about the sensuality of intelligence uh, and playing it and 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 tantalizing with it and, and the knowing and knowing that, you know, um, you know what is it uh, when you're. Um, a dominatrix uh somebody is going to be in power in this and somebody's going to be uh, submissive and having those mental gymnastics uh going back and forth in, in in the realms of sensuality and sexuality i thought was was interesting it was it's a brave move to do for a, a project like like sherlock uh ariel said uh did you um do you know how hard it is to successfully play drunk yeah uh when uh sherlock came in to, <laughs> to interrogate um uh mrs adler miss miss adler uh yeah he she knocked the cool she knocked all of the acting like right clear out his hand mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh Sherelle said the ringtone submitted it submitted the like for me that and uh returning the coat yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just you know adler irene just did, did her thing um let me see there's a couple more um uh, love said anyone who touches grandma automatically needs to get beat up i can't agree they, with that Gibbity more pants. miss yes. hudson hands off yeah miss hudson yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. yo and i like i kind of like how they how, how they checked uh mycroft too with that like yo what you don't be yelling at her what's wrong with you <laughs> yeah like, all of us like it's real what? quick yeah <laughs> yeah he no, told miss hudson no shut up hudson. <laughs> and they all they're like wait a minute <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, Love also said, uh, if flirting with men makes them like this, uh, then I got to do it more. Uh, this is gold. <laughs> Twice. Never forget. <laughs> and of course, I was a little close out with the book. She's saying, um, never underestimate, never underestimate Sherlock Holmes. Uh, just saying that couldn't have been a more true statement because at the end, you know, he ends up kind of like knowing how all of this, all the, all of the pieces are played and knows how the game is played. The game is always going to be afoot. Hey, you got anything else you want to say? Thank you so much to everybody that was a part uh, of the Patreon who has been part of the Discord in this private section. Thank you for all for your comments. You all make this whole process so much more fun. Um, Rakai, before I tell everybody about, you know, how amazing your YouTube page is, and I'll get to that in a second. Do you have any closing thoughts before, you, before we talk about your YouTube page? Um, the, the one thing about this is um, it takes a lot to translate something that came from a hundred years ago mm. and turn it into something that is relatable and interesting in this current day and age. Um, so what they did to take, take pieces from the stories, the short stories, the novels, um, and they're not doing like one for one translations. Mm. They are taking small pieces and interpreting it in a, in a new way to make it relevant for a modern audience. Hmm. That is hard to do. In, in order to keep the uh, the intrigue, the suspense, the thrill, um, the intelligence level. Hmm. I mean, really the way that they are writing uh, Sherlock, Benedict Cumberbatch is performing it where Sherlock is almost, has a superpower. Hell, this is not a detective story. This is a the, the damn X-Men. Um, I think the way that they wrote Irene Adler in this is so different from the books, but it was, it's absolutely fantastic. Mm. Uh, from what I have gathered, the four seasons of this and there were, everyone loves seasons one, two, and three. And then season four took the Game of Thrones route. Mm. Uh, they said, you know, and people are, you know, of course, opinions are, you know, so that, you know, people are said it was rushed and they don't particularly like uh, season four. But like I said, this is, this is very hard to do, to make it interesting. Mm -hmm. And so far we watched four episodes and mm -hmm. all four episodes were great, but this by far, because of not only how he was introduced for real 
at the end of episode the three, the last of the first season. Mm -hmm. But we didn't talk about it. But you know, even the for a short bit, the return of Moriarty. Moriarty is uh, he is done so so well. And then to introduce Adler, mm -hmm. who she knocked out of the park. Like she did a kind of performance where she sucked all the air out of the room. Like she killed every time she was on screen it's worth it the juice yeah. is worth the squeeze <laughs> so hard thing about doing stuff like that though is where do you go from here because right now i can't see how the next episode this season is going to hold up to this so you know we mm. shall see but this was rather enjoyable yeah yeah. Listen, you just got a snippet of what is on Rakai's YouTube page and especially on his Patreon. He gives these really introspective thoughts and ideas regarding this content that we love. You get a chance to stare at it uh, through his eyes and it's heartfelt. Rakai, please tell the people how they get in contact with you. You know, seeing as we didn't go into where uh, Centel was going to lead us, Talking about the one to two great loves of your life. Ah, you know, clearly, I know, I know. We was running a little clear, out of time. Clearly, <laughs> clearly, a, clearly a topic I know nothing about. Oh, stop um, it. <laughs> You're like, nah, I'm listening, bro. <laughs> no, nah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could look back and be like, yeah, maybe she fits that criteria. Or, you know, the, the mother of my kids, you know, oh, Lucifer herself. She, uh, <laughs> maybe she could, <laughs> I don't I'm know, saying, look, great that's love what they or, say. That's what they they say. You get one, and if you're I lucky, mean, you get two. I get it, and I get it. And when <laughs> when we were together, when shit was good, then maybe <laughs> I'd include her. But now, listen, <laughs> you know, all I'm saying is she could have been that Irene Adler at the end. But what I'm telling you is that when I got that last text, I would not have been there. I'd be like, well, you know. <laughs> You know, sometimes beheadings happen, you know. <laughs> sometimes they happen. But you knew where she was. You didn't. I, I didn't have enough gas to get to the service I can't with you, cell. dog. I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, I don't, I don't know if I, I ain't hit that. I don't know nothing about that. Anyway, uh, if you like my particular brand of idiotcy, Come check me out on my Patreon, but uh, you can also check me out on my YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Nuke from the Ville, N-U-P-E-F-R-O-M-D-A-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. You got to use this. It's never as appropriate as a Sherlock series. Got to use this. <laughs> but you know, when you guys are watching us react to Doctor Who, you got to use this too. Little, little Sherlock, Lil Watson. <laughs> thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Hey, thank you all so much for hanging out with us. And I hope to see you all in the live chat. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye, you. Peace.